Hello everyone, I'm Ergama Witch, and today on Ergama's Hair Salon, we're going to do a, a bun, a secretary bun, or we're gonna do two two ways of doing a bun. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this hair mesh to um, follow as closely to the scalp as possible um, because we're going to kind of do the strands to pull in. Like you can use the base hair if you really want. Um, and I have been known to use the base hair, but usually I'll do stuff like this and just like make a new one. Uh, so I can adjust where things are. Alright, that looks good. She looks kind of like Pinhead. Well, I, think, I think that looked good. She Pinhead. Alright. Um, let's see. Pull it in. Yeah, well, yeah I just want as close as possible. Alright. Um, I guess we'll take this color. Let me uh, turn on the mirror mode and make this wider. Yeah. All right, and where they're pointing in the back is where the bun's going to be. All right, so I do big ones and little ones, and I try to do different shapes or different sizes. I'll pick one size first, and then I'll go around and fill in the gaps with the other sizes. I can get some nice fat ones in here. And this is just to kind of like fill in, you know, some thinner ones. This is, this is really fairly simple to do. Just a couple strokes here, a couple strokes there. <laughs> Adjust them a little bit too so you can kind of hide the, the scalp underneath. And if you have scalp still showing, you can color that in on the body texture or on the face texture. Mm -mm, so pull this down a little bit and then just tuck these in. Yeah, like that. Like everything is just a lot of little edits. A little, little, little here, a little there, a little, little, little bit everywhere. There we go. Pull this up and just kind of tuck those over here. All right, I think. For the most part, that's pretty good. I'm just trying to fix up these little limbs so they kind of all point to the same point. If that didn't sound redundant to you, it definitely sounded it to me. Um, but yeah, this is just a general idea. Yeah, I might, under normal circumstance, like edit it differently, like. Um, Add more strands or draw more hair onto the scalp. Um, uh, make this a little fatter to fill it in because I don't like that gap there. Put down a little bit. Man, her head shape's a little weird. I'm gonna try to pull this in and round it off a little bit. There we go. A little rounder, a little better, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna add a freehand group. And, uh, let's see, how am I gonna do this? Oops, I, uh, don't want that. What I'm going to do is add a new freehand group and then turn the mirroring off. And push this out a little bit. This was a freehand group after selecting the base hair so it didn't match the other freehand group. 
I'm just kind of spiraling it in. I'm gonna kind of thicken this up a little bit. And uh, do you ever, you ever remember seeing those things, those like hair bumpets that would go under the hair to make it look like it's got more volume than it really does? Yeah, that's what this, <laughs> that's what this was. We're making our bump it. I think that's what it was called. I'm just kind of like trying to tighten in this a little bit. Yeah. Alright, so I have the like, the group itself selected and I'm just adjusting the thickness and the width. And then the hair itself I can do as well. So that way I can get extra volume going on. I'm gonna speed past this part. Ta ta! The magic of editing. Alright. So now we're back to the bun. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna try to wrap the hair mesh around it um, as best as we can. We can't go around it completely, we can only kinda go up and over. Make kind of like a a donut shape on the head with this, and I bring two points together to kind of give it the sharpest of edges as possible. Um, I'm gonna try to tuck these in a little bit, but I can't really. Yeah, see, this is kind of cutting through a little bit. Gotta pull it out. Eh. Yeah, I, I I guess that's kind of about where I can bring it inwards but that's yeah, fine it's so it's a lot like how i did the twin bun but yeah all right um now i have the uh, mirror tool on and i'm just going over the top and then down the back top and back down the back basically covering the whole thing uh select the whole group and I'm just kind of like seeing how I like this. Guys. I guess Fluffy's good. Kind of adjusting a little bit, make it a little wider, fill in some spots. I'm gonna try to tuck this in a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that, I guess. Alright, now you can still see a little bit of our bump it on the side, but we can sort of fix it. Um, I'm gonna go do 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 freehand group, and I'm gonna just kind of pull this in a little bit, a little down. And then we'll just draw another one right there. And it, just, it kind of hides it. There you go. You can't even see it. And we have a nice tight bun. Mm, let's go back here. We can add uh, a little bit of a, a messiness to it with hairs like coming out and shit. This is like, uh, again, how I did the twin buns. Um, and also when I remade the twin buns, as you can see, like, this tutorial is like a little more than like 10 minutes at this point. You can, you can imagine how quick it was redoing the twin buns after learning initially how to do it. Because once you do one, you just kind of uh, duplicate it and flip it to the other side because you're doing the same thing it's just this is in the center and you know um but yeah that's kind of like one way of doing the bun um 
I do have this bun uh, linked down in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. Because uh, I know, like, again, some people don't want to <laughs> make it. It'd be easier just to download it, so yeah. Um, but we're gonna... I don't know, just adjust a little bit. You can add bones to this, too. Um, I wouldn't add too much, just the little strands. The bun itself isn't going to move too much. Bloop. Uh, we'll lower that a little bit. Yeah, we'll pull up there. There you can see the little, little strands bobbing about. Or if you don't even want to do that, you can actually have the strands longer and just tuck around the whole thing. Um, but there's actually another way to do this. All right, I'm gonna delete all these real quick. We're gonna keep the main base. All right. So here we are, we have this. This is gonna kind of be like the cheapy, easy way to do it. All right. So I'm drawing like that circle. It's a little hard to see right here. Let me pull it out a little bit. The spiral thing, yeah. Make it nice and fat and wide and... Then I just add twists. Twists. Can make it nice and fat and then more twists and yeah. And that's kind of like a cheapy way of <laughs> of making a bun. Like you can adjust it a lot and a little or however much you want. But that does make it a lot easier. And from the front it doesn't look too bad. Um but yeah, if you have any questions on how to do this or anything else with Vroid, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. Um, also, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I guess pretty much that's it for this tutorial. Um, for those of you who don't know, I now have memberships, so if you want to get access to videos early or free textures or just what's up, uh, you can become a member and then also get emotes for my live chats. So my live streams, sorry, my live streams. So yeah, I'll uh, see you later. Bye. 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 <laughs>